What is going on, guys? Today we have got Alexandra Pato. You're tired of. You're tired of coming up against teams that want to rip your hair out every single day. Make sure you check u7buy.com for the most reliable and cheapest coins on the market. And at checkout, make sure you hit that JT11 for 5% off your order. And hopefully, you have a good day. So, in today's video, we are looking at the 94 Brazilian MLS. I think it's Orlando. Yeah, Orlando City Pato. What a player. Again, he is coming up clutch with the premium version of himself, which is always nice. You know, I love this card. Only an 85 rated SBC with one Brazilian required. Definitely a nice card. A five star, four star at the minimum. A high, low, five nine with a right foot. And he's got finesse outside of the foot. And also the flair. You know I am a big believer in them three. With stats, we've got 96 pace. Shooting's looking very nice. Passing's got a little bit about him. Good, good dribbling as well. And a decent amount of physicality. Not necessarily the aggression, but stamina, strength, and jumping. As well as head and accuracy. All looking absolutely on fire. People are looking straight away in terms of chemistry style at the marksman, I believe. So that would give you 98 shooting as well as dribbling and 93 physicality taking him to a 97 rated striker we're going to jump straight in we're going to put the marksman on him and we're going to go into the brazil cup why not into the first leg and wow into pato very very tough opponent you can normally tell as soon as you see moments on nine half the time you're thinking solid and pato first touch of the ball manages to whip that corner in like i say the passing is very nice sometimes to have that big upgrade. Gorincha down the wing. We've got Pato in support. There it is. Into Pato's feet and Marquinhos. This guy's defending ability. Very, very top notch. Good interception from Pato. Melito just... Oh, what? Oh, Mil is it Militao? He's playing Militao at DM. Very interesting at time. Into Pato. What can we find? Going to look onto his left foot. This time we should have passed it. I saw the opening. I thought he may have been able to do something. <laughs> We might get lucky here. The aggression side of him is not going to really win that battle back. Strength is good. Aggression to get that ball back so far is uh, lacking. Into Pato again. Left foot this time and he manages to get it. That's all he needs. Beautiful this time. The first one, I honestly, looked like he scuffed the shot entirely. That one was absolutely pitch perfect. Pato over the top. He's got R9 in pursuit. Going to whip a ball early. R9 with a header. Militao has different ideas. Into Pato again. Get the little speed. I was hoping for maybe a slide or something. Oh, that's a lovely bit of play. Pato R9 rushing to the aid of Garincha. Trying to find something. Finds in Neymar. Beautiful linking. All of the Brazilians working very well there. And I believe we got a rage quit. Lovely bit of dribbling from Pato. He's going to play the easy ball out. Garincha back into him. Looking for that easy ball over the top. Garincha not quite getting there this time. A little bit too much mustard on that one. Pato duking round. Finds a bit of R9. Again, the defender's going to come in. So far, Pato link-up play has been really nice. Getting involved. A little bit on the uh, kind of slower side at times. I'm finding that getting it out of his feet is, is just almost that second longer than some of the players that we've been doing um, kind of up front. So, interesting to see how he would fare against someone like that, really. So, going into the overall four Pato then. Coming in under 70,000 coins. Not a bad price at all. In terms of the card itself, he's nice. And I think definitely might help some of people's brazilian teams but we have had the brazilian icon we've got brazilian um campaign bag practically there's a lot of brazilian players that you could put in that position that yes maybe not as expensive as him or more expensive than him in terms of efficiency for coins if we just have a look at the brazilian strikers here uh obviously Pele R9, the two big ones. Even a Marcelo shapeshifter, solid, solid striker. You look at their Neymar, Vinny. You look at, uh, keep going down, Ronaldinho is obviously a massive one. Um, Oscar, not as much. We're looking at Cortinho, Richarlison, Rodrigo. I know position-wise, not quite the same. But again, these are all players that can be striker, left wing, right wing cam. They're all so highly rated that it's almost 
it doesn't matter necessarily how you line up with them. It's just a matter of where you put them in game. Like I said, a lot of people will probably benefit from this card. He goes into the Brazilian Cup. He's a 5-star, 4-star. You can't argue with him. Very big upgrade from his 87 flashback, which is always nice. And he did have a 75 common at the start of the game. He did feel a little bit sluggish at times. Not necessarily the quickest. I don't know. Again, that could be gameplay, server, opponent. It could be just a whole host of things. Whereas other people may have a faster experience. And it might just be down to total gameplay there. But again, normally gameplay is pretty decent. It's not necessarily always glitched or anything like that. So I kind of take it on that merit. Quickness-wise, I would definitely be looking at going through balls with him. Because... On the ball, he's nice, he gets it out of his feet, but he does get tackled, especially with the top-end centre-backs we're going against, especially in the Cup, Militao, Marquinhos, two absolute powerhouses, not even to mention Maldini and Virgil, and even Varane at times, and also Walker, shapeshifter. So some massive, massive players, to say the least. They're going to absolutely chop him. If you've got somebody who is semi-good at defending, they're going to be able to catch it. They're going to be able to, to maneuver around Pato having the ball of his feet. If you're going for the run, he's got 96 pace, which definitely should do a lot. Good acceleration on him. And once you get to that final product, he's got a finish on him. Yes, not every single time, but most definitely keeps his composure and manages to get the bag a good percentage of the time. In terms of the card itself, I think SPC price couldn't be better off. 85, no team of the season or team of the week requirements, which is always good. And in general, just a Brazilian with, I think, 65 chem, I want to say, which again, isn't necessarily massive. 65 should be pretty easy to do, especially when we have had that 85 times 10 today. So that should give you a good scope on where you want to be uh, kind of going with the leagues and getting the chemistry do i say he's the best brazilian striker most definitely not probably the best mls player or at least one of them especially with charles gill and Mukhtar there as well but definitely one of the highest rated you will find or joint second highest now in terms of brazilian strikers and if you just go strikers only i'd say r9's better Marcelo's a funny one because I actually really like him as a striker, but I think his position definitely is more effective in the, the kind of defense box-to-box -box sort of style. So I would say, I would say in terms, you've got Neymar obviously, in terms of just these cards, not Vinny or obviously Neymar as a left wing, just a specific striker. Arnine's better, Pele's better, this Neymar is probably up there, but again... It depends on how you play with him. Taliska is a wonder card. So I'd say he's in the top five at the minimum. He's most definitely got to be compared to these. Uh, where's Richarlson, actually? Was he a centre forward? Where's Richarlson? I swear. Oh, he's a cam. Okay. I was going to say, I swear he's a striker. But yeah, he comes as a cam. But obviously, he is um, more of a, a centre forward striker in game, especially. So I'd say top five, top six strikers. If you haven't got any of the previous ones before him, then definitely he's going to be your next best, best option in that Brazilian Cup. If you don't have someone like a team in the season, Mbappe, that you actually transfer out or, or swap out during mid game. But let me know down below what you think about Pato. I'd give him a solid 9.4. I think he's definitely up there. Not necessarily going to be in every every single team we find. But Brazilian Cup, he definitely adds another element if you wanted to. So let me know down below what you think about him. Make sure you do like and subscribe. And let me know if you are going to be completing this man right here. But from that, make sure you do like and subscribe. Check out the video in the top right or top left hand corner. Whichever way I decide to put it. And I catch you all for the next one. Peace.